excited to, to get out on the field Monday night and kind of show the nation what this offense can do, what Jake can do, what tight ends can do in this offense? Yeah, no doubt. I think it's it's been a long camp. It's been a long summer, so I'm just ready to go out and go against somebody else, get everybody on the same sideline and just tack it together. But I think definitely the offense, um, specifically tight ends, um, with Coach Riley, he's been great since we got here. And I think he's really doing a good job of implementing us into the game plan, as well as uh, just kind of using us as mismatches and kind of just taking advantage of it. So I think it'll be a lot of fun on Monday, and I'm just excited. What have you seen from Duke's defense watching them on film? Oh, uh, they're good. They're a good team. You know, they force a lot of turnovers. Uh, they get a lot of turnovers. So uh, I think just for us, I think the biggest thing would just be finding match matchups and then e exploiting them and just kind of just our players is going to get the job done. And we got a lot of guys that can make plays with the ball. So I think just getting the ball to them and just letting them do their thing. Is that a little different feel for you going into this season just because the last couple of weeks you had Davis and, and the two of you were kind of a dynamic duo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, me and Davis, we played a lot of snaps together. It was, it was great to learn from him, kind of just pick his brain a little bit, learn about how he plays a game, how he prepares for a game, and kind of just playing together for a couple of years. I think it was really beneficial for me personally, and then now kind of just me and Sage taking it over, taking over the room and kind of just going into this season as us at the top. Um, I think it will be good for everybody, and I'm excited too. I asked Davo about you being kind of the guy in the tight end room. And, like you said, Dave Sound, he mm -hmm. said that you just probably weren't ready the first two years to be that guy. But now you are. I mean, it wasn't just learning from Davis in terms of how to be a leader and stuff like that, or is it physically your game? What do you think makes you ready to be that guy? Oh, uh, yeah. Personally, I think uh, I think now is just I think it's God's timing, and I think it's just good timing for me. I think my body is ready to go out there and think, uh, from a knowledge standpoint, I'm, a, I'm smarter. I'm a more equipped player now. So I think definitely I think it's my time um, to go out there and kind of show what I can do. But yeah, I think definitely learning from Davis definitely helped a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, physically, I feel great. I mean, this is the most I've weighed since I've been here, strongest I've been since I've been here. We had a good off season, uh, really good summer as a team. So yeah, I think I feel I feel good. This is the best I've felt. And I'm ready to go. I mentioned say he doesn't have a whole lot of game experience. What, what have you seen from him in, in practice uh, the last couple of years, and, and just what, what, what are his strengths? Yeah, no, Sage is a great player. Um, he gets it done every day in practice, and I think a lot of the stuff, similarities between me and him are uh, making plays in space and then just being able to get open route running wise. So I think, I think it's going to be good for him to get some more experience in the games and kind of just show, it, show off what, all he can do. And I'm excited for both of us to go out there. I think Garrett said a while ago that, that quarterback and tight end are the two positions in his offense that are, that are trusted with the most, have to learn the most. Have you felt that? And what's it like to kind of learn that system and learn maybe a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think there is a lot that goes into playing tight end, both knowing the running game, the passing game, the defensive structure and stuff like that. Um, but I think just starting with Cade, I think he's done a really good job from a leadership standpoint um, just throughout the summer and throughout the offseason, just kind of getting guys together. Uh, player-led meetings and stuff like that. Um, that's really just, it's made the process of learning a new system a lot easier and a lot quicker. And I think um, just from the tight end aspect, I think um, just knowing, knowing your job and just being able to execute your job and not have to worry about a bunch of other things or a bunch of game plan stuff, um, I think it'll be good for us just to kind of narrow it down and really focus on what we have to focus on. Why do you think you'll mostly need that tight end position where you can split up wide at all, most of the middle of the field? Like, where have you kind of been operating? Um, I've kind of been, I feel like I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be tight end, but I'll, I'll play around everywhere. Just kind of whatever's best for the offense to get guys open, make plays. So. Hey, Jake, Mark Whiteman from WIFF. What excites you the most about this offensive scheme? Um, I just think the explosiveness of it. I think we got a lot of playmakers in the offense and on the <laughs> team, and I think just Coach Riley coming in, establishing who the playmakers are, and kind of just figuring out cool ways to get them the ball and to kind of let them do their thing, kind of stepping back from a, more of like a this is what you have to do and kind of just letting guys play freely, I think is really helpful for us, and I think it's, it's been really good so far, and I'm excited for the season and showing you all what we have been working on. That's Beth Wool from Fox Carolina in Greenville. Um, Jake, I asked Dabo what he was most proud of out of camp, and he said you guys seem to have fun. 
but you never seem to hit that wall. Is that mm -hmm. fair to say? And how did this camp feel as you guys prepare uh, to take the field on Monday? Yeah, no, it was a great camp. It was a long camp. Um, it was a very competitive camp. But I think, yeah, guys have just really everybody's bought into the to the same common goal, and everybody's really just bringing everything they have to the table, and, and everybody's just pretty much just buying in. And it's kind of, you say we didn't really hit the wall. I would agree with that just because I feel like guys are just more relaxed, uh, having more fun with it, and I feel like just getting the job done. And then when the hard work does pay off and we make a big play or something in practice, there's a lot more energy on the sideline and stuff of guys with excitement and stuff. So I think it will be good. What do you think is the root of that? Is that just the excitement around newness that you have, or is that instilled and in coming from somewhere else? Um, no, I think it's kind of always been here, um, but I just feel like this year, I feel like we've had uh, two years where we really haven't been where we wanted to be, so I think everybody's just hungry to get back there and hungry to do their job, and I think Coach Riley coming in this spring, he's just brought a different energy with him and like an excitement around, I guess, from the outside that people are just like excited for newness and stuff, but I think internally, I think we've always been focused, we've always been energetic, we've always loved playing football together, but I just think now... Um, it's just a lot, it's more exciting, it's, it's more explosive, and I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. Jake, watch, Amanda Poole with Watch Fox out of Columbia. Um, what kind of first impression do you hope to make on Monday night? Um, I think as a team, I think we're going to come out and just um, hopefully show off what we can do. And, and for me personally, I kind of just want to go out there and, you know, execute my job and just do what I can to put as many points up on the board as we can. How much does that open up the middle of the field for people like you and the receivers, just mm -hmm. the defense having that stress of, you know, obviously got stuck down for the run? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, Ship and Phil are both great players. They're great guys. I mean, playing with those guys, playing with Antonio, playing with Bo, playing with Cade, it's, it just makes it a lot of fun just to be able to play together, play with each other, play off of each other, different route concepts, opening up each other, and kind of just everybody having fun, everybody everybody executing, everybody getting rewarded for it. So I think that's the most exciting part. And like you said, across the middle, I think um, that'll be – I don't think there's a way you can stop all the playmakers we have. So I think it'll be good for good for our offense, and it'll be a fun fun time. Sense of the other younger tight ends in the room, and then Josh Schaap and the two freshmen, y'all have – how are they doing progressing? Uh, they're doing great. Um, you know, Sab, me and him, we're, we, we lifted together every day this summer. Um, we really got after it together from uh, in the off season, and then the new guys that got here, Olson and Marcus, came this summer. I mean, they're big, physical dudes. They can play football, and uh, they're gonna have great careers. I'm excited to watch. From a competition aspect, what is the sense for you guys offensively about getting to unveil this new offense? Everything you've worked on, as you said, against a defense that most people would agree is is one of the best in the country. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Duke, is, Duke has a very good defense. They're a very respected team. And I think that's a good challenge for us. I, I like that they're our first game. Just kind of come out, set the tone for the season, and, and play a well-respected opponent like Duke. And uh, kind of just using our game plan, our schemes and stuff, and, and just seeing how it works. Any questions for Jake from Zoom? Anybody else in the room? Yeah, I got one. Is it your brother that works at Michigan State? Oh, that's my cousin, cousin. Garrett Brenningstool. Uh, you ever talk to him and kind of compare the way that there's a lot of similarities between Coach Izzo and Coach Sweeney? Yeah, we, we talk all the time about, you know, just sports in general or Michigan State stuff, Clemson stuff. And I think there definitely is, especially from a leadership standpoint and just how much, how much they love the people around them and care about the people around them. And you can really, you can really see the similarities and the success with that goes along with that. And I think it just comes down to how they treat their players, how they treat their staff, and, and how much they care. It seems like the overall culture is a Yeah, no doubt. It's very similar. Anyone else? Speaking of basketball, what happened in the versus thing versus Ruth? <laughs> hey, I'm more of a, a paint player, I'd say. Not, not so much as a shooter. <laughs> hey. All right, thank you, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate you guys.